If you love giant, sumptuous TVs, then CES is the show for you. But if you want a glimpse into the future of TVs, you have to get into LG Display's private booth just off the show floor. This year, the big prototype is a 65-inch UHD rollable display, which sounds like what we saw last year, right? Well, this time around, LG Display has literally turned it upside down. The screen now rolls from the ceiling downwards. Now you probably know what that means. That means the TV would be installed at the top or almost near the ceiling of your house, which is a curious design choice. Now the display technology itself hasn't changed much. What LG Display were tackling here is the engineering challenge of rolling a TV downwards. Obviously there are different forces in play and it's a completely different mechanism to a TV that goes from the ground upwards. And it's worth remembering that LG Display's original rollable OLED did turn into a fully fleshed TV for consumers just the year after. So that means you do probably have a year or so to figure out exactly how you would install this thing in your own house. This year, the company isn't just showcasing its prototype rollable displays that you probably won't be able to afford in the future. No, it wants to get its flexible, rollable, magical displays into every facet of your life, whether that's your home, your car, or your next airplane seat. Perhaps the most optimistic of these demos from LG Display is this, the fictional business class cabin of the future, where every passenger gets a 65-inch UHD TV all to themselves. Not only is it a 4K OLED screen, it's also bendable because LG Display. LG Display believes customers will use the screen in its flat position to order duty-free or just check on the map where they're at. They then kick into bendable and curved mode for watching movies, watching TV shows, and perhaps even gaming. And this screen is bigger than the TV I have back home. It's absolutely huge. Each cabin comes with one of these beautiful OLED tablets to adjust your seat and presumably order cabin crew. And perhaps the biggest innovation of all, two drinks holders. A more realistic approach to all that LG display technology might be this, the car, I want to say, cockpit of the future, which features no less than four plastic OLED displays dotted pretty much around everywhere, to my left, to my right, and there's actually a rolling OLED behind me too. But let's take a little closer look at the dash, which includes two digital mirrors that also have a touch panel built into them. This means you can adjust the angle of the mirror with just a swipe of the finger. Next to that, there's a transparent layered display that features your mapping. And then alongside that, there's a very long OLED display for all of your music settings and air conditioning. This central OLED hub also features haptic feedback for the touchscreen, which means you can adjust the settings without losing concentration of what's happening on the fictional road of the future. It's 2020, so unless you're buying a Tesla Cybertruck, cars and their dashes are full of curves and difficult angles. That means a company like LG Display has the know-how to make these curved, flexible screens that can fit into pretty much every conceivable nook and cranny. The concepts here are really cool to see in person, but you have to wonder exactly how many years is it going to be until I have a giant 65-inch display on my next flight. I think the whole idea of this space is just to prove that LG Display can pretty much make anything with a curved screen. But the real question is, do you want it and would you buy it? For everything else at CS 2020, check out Engadget.com.